Welcome. If you come across this video, this message may be for you. So please do listen carefully to see if it resonates. The energy says that you've always been a very strong woman. You're independent. And most of the time, whatever needs to be done, you get up and do it yourself. You have finally found your soulmate, the person that you truly love, someone who makes you finally feel loved. You've never had these feelings for anyone else. Never this intense, never this strong. And though the two of you have a very strong spiritual connection and are meant to be together, there's a lot of issues that keep creeping up. Issues from his past, issues from your past, trust issues. And I feel some sort of family or friend type of issue um that is causing the two of you to just keep drifting further apart you guys come close you go apart you come close you go apart it's left you feeling very weak and insecure it's left you feeling different than you usually do The fuckery <laughs> that can be tarot readings, psychic insights, and spellcasters of various forms. But the numbers do not lie. Now, this woman is telling someone, right? And it could arguably be me because it popped up on my feed. And that's how energies work, right? Nothing's a coincidence if you see it, you're meant to. And a lot of times it will resonate. Not to give up on somebody. To believe in the strong, fiery passion, this lust, this attraction. And to view this person as your forever person. Despite the drifting apart, despite energies trying to pull this connection apart. Don't give up on them. Now as a numerologist, what did I see first? 552 on the side of the video, the light count. 552 is a number that represents energy being wielded in the karmic realm. That is five. And what energy specifically is being wielded? 52 energy, karmic connection, five karmic number to the number of interpersonal connection, the number of the mindset, the, the number of the way one relates to the world, the way one relates to others. The total is seven, the number of difficulty, dark side of karmic matters, negativity, toxicity, right? The seven deadly sins, for example. We're talking about a negative karmic connection, a difficult karmic connection, a karmic connection that causes transformation in one way or another. And it's oftentimes done through difficulty. So no, my loves, do not hold on to this connection. So no, my loves, do not hold on to this person. If you can help it, right? children are involved or other factors you have to navigate it differently but the end game should remain the same detachment figure out what it is in you that is still weak figure out what it is in you that does not truly value yourself or love yourself that would want to hold on to someone who does not give you what you deserve emotionally that's a shortcoming within us and once we can understand it, and we're talking about 410 energy, for example, we're talking about awareness being the gatekeeper of ascension. Awareness being the factor, the catalyst of growth. There's one thing you must remember. The universe will always test us. So as I'm sitting here telling you all of this, right, could this be a test as well? 
having the message conflict with the numeric energy? Yeah. Oftentimes the universe wants to say, trust your instinct, trust your wisdom, trust your intuition. You know what to do. But energies will come and they will try to confuse us because in a test, it can't just be easy. So, tried and true. Self-love is the key. So if any decision conflicts with self-love, it's not the right decision.